Yo, what is up, guys? So I wanted to address a pretty big problem that you guys, a lot of you guys can't figure out this problem, which is basically how to figure out what is a saturated product. And this will save you a lot of money and time if you end up, because for all you know right now, you're testing a product that's saturated. And let me show you a few ways for me to know and for you guys to know whether it's a saturated product. So number one is just going on Instagram, you know, following all these meme pages, following the biggest pages, and think of yourself as a marketer. If you're a marketer, which page would you market on? Follow all of those pages with a fake Instagram account and just have that account just for sifting around. You might start seeing a lot of face masks, a lot of ear cleaners, a lot of uh, phone cases that are uh, pushed out a lot. Um, so that's one way to see. If you start seeing a lot of people pu push out a, sp a specific ad, that's usually whether you should hop onto it if you can confirm that you can hop onto it. Maybe you've seen it once or twice only. And you see this person continuously doing it because obviously they're making money. Then you should try it. But a lot of times when you see these products, they're already saturated. So um, you have to juggle that ball, okay? So if you start seeing a lot, and other way to really, really confirm it is to just type Shopify My IP MS. And the first result will lead you to here, right? And what I would recommend is going to the hundredth page or even a thousandth page to start seeing the top general stores. <laughs> the top stores, I prefer general stores because uh, they sell a lot of these saturated products, okay? Um, I do want to list out, let me just list out a few that could come to my head, right? The ear cleaner I already said, uh, the face mask I already said, the pore cleaner, the hair remover, the small one and the LED one. Um, what's another saturated product? The hair bun maker is a saturated product uh, since like a few weeks ago or a, a month ago. It was drained out or basically it's not drained out. The, the, the top marketers with that product are still doing very well for it. But if you try to hop onto it, it's gonna be very hard. I see a lot of uh, the makeup bag that makes your makeup not get all messy and everything. I've seen that literally everywhere. Um, the moon lamp, obviously. And you can even go on Twitter. Sometimes you follow some big tw uh, pages on Twitter and you'll start seeing these products like literally everywhere. So if you see them everywhere, then I would really recommend for us to not test. Um, so I was just looking through shop, uh, what? What do you call this? My IP MS. And I was just looking around at, I think I just clicked this because this was convenient. And you will start seeing these uh, general stores. You do have to spend some time to sift through it. This is not an easy thing to do. And this is not, this is like top 70,000. Definitely don't recommend that. Let's see if I can search the number. Search the popularity rating. Never tried this. Let's see if it works out well. I guess it didn't work out well. But you guys understand what I'm trying to say. Go to the pages with, um, you know, a good, I think I actually figured it out. You just go to 100 and you should be seeing some of the top 2000s, 3000s, five, oh, 5000s. Okay. Might find someone. Let's see if I could find one off the fly. Entrepreneur's Closet, I like that. Too Hot Limited. Dot com. Let's see what's inside of there. Hot Too Hot Limited. Dot com. Let's see what's inside of this. And what's cool about my MS, I love it so much, is you can confirm kind of whether it's worth even looking at it. Uh, right now, there's 1.1 thousand visitors. If you guys, and you could cross check this website with other websites there are websites that can check like daily visitors for website right you should be able to find one that site worth traffic and you can even throw in let's just say this one this one's a nice page to estimate for sure this is the website that I've never even used um, daily estimations and that's not bad right so you know you usually stores are anywhere from fucking pop-ups that's why you guys don't do that on your stores um let's do um 
usually Shopify stores are anywhere from one to 3% on average. Let's be in the middle, 2%, right? So one point, uh, 1,000, I'm doing this on my phone. 1335 times 0 0.02, you get a 26.7 sales a day because that's 2% conversion rate, right? So 26 times whatever your product, if your product is uh, $50, right? Then this store is making a thousand one point three a day. So that's how you kind of do some math, right? So let's take a look at the store. You can always use Commerce Inspector to see their top products, but I've also seen where when you click uh, best seller, they'll redirect you to another page, or they'll rickroll you. They have like a video of rickroll, or they'll say copycat or something like that. It looks like this website. It's a very, very uh, interesting theme. This does look like their hot product. It's $9. By the way, free plus shipping still works. I have six of them. And I think this is why this is the top product because it's a low, low ticket item. You do have to sell a lot of volume, but you build a very, very nice pixel. A very, very nice pixel. This is a really clean website, by the way. <laughs> they don't have any of that bullshit of uh, scarcity or whatever which is, I feel like they're on branding. So that's pretty cool. Well, I don't recommend selling this because this is their actual brand, I assume. <laughs> so I think you guys get the idea. These are two other stores that I was sifting through. Uh, this one, I think Commerce Inspector actually worked. And what's cool about Commerce Inspector too is, let me let this load up real quick. Okay, so I was gonna do this. And then when you're on any of the pages, <coughs> you can use Commerce Suspected to do traffic. I think the store died off, let's see. Okay, well this is still hovering pretty nicely. That's a lot of fucking visitors and yeah. They peaked pretty hard. Yeah, I mean that's still very good guys. 368,000, that was just last last month, March. So, let me just tell you what I've seen and what I think are dead products inside of here. Hair straightener, I have seen this a lot in this one too. Like I said, the LED. I have not seen this product yet. Possibly worth it. Um, this one I have tested. It didn't work out for me. I test tons of products a day. Uh, hair removal cream. I have seen that a few times. The bra everywhere. If you just start seeing these, and this one, the magnetic one, the cool products. The cool products are the products you should probably stay away from. I did waste a lot of money doing that. I tried influencers and Facebook. Uh, earbuds. I don't know why I would so. 45 bucks. I don't know about that. And then the whatever world is website that when you click on this, it brings you redirects, it redirects you to another page. Uh, definitely make a video on how to do this just in case you guys have a winner on a website. You just want to hide it. And uh, yeah, this is definitely cool because everybody virtually has Congress Suspector now because RAB and uh, all of us, we've been pushing out this, this app. So, yep. But yeah, once you start looking through these websites, you get a good idea of what a saturated product is. If you start seeing these products like everywhere and on Instagram, on these websites, on all of these general websites, then you should have a good idea of, oh God, of what a saturated product is, right? So hopefully that makes sense to you. It's kind of common sense where if you see this a lot, um, it's either a trend to catch on to or it's already a dead product. And uh, when I tell someone, when they send me a DM, they're like, I got a lot of purchases for this, but it's been slowing down. He tell me why. And I'm like, that's a saturated product. And they're like, how the hell do you know? Here's the video for it. So thank you so much for your time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I was planning to make this video for a while, but I've been super busy with um, the, the program that I just launched. And then uh, I've been trying to manage all my stores as well. So it's been hectic. And uh, yeah, contacting me is not the easiest thing. But if you guys do have a question, definitely leave it on my Instagram. 
Uh, there should be pretty relevant links in the description if you guys want to check it out. I think, oh yeah, Team New Rich, of course. Just I need to make a video on what is Team New Rich because I don't want to keep putting this in the end of the videos, but virtually it's just uh, a group of people that are very, very you know committed and they're very serious in this entrepreneur thing. You know, do or die mindset, right? Of you know, if you don't make it, you get, you put your one hundred percent to make it, right? So join it, you know, collab, talk to us if you guys want to, and vibe with the people that are the same level as you, and think on the same level as you instead of your friends at high school or college, mm -hmm. because they won't really get you anywhere. If you're older demographic, I definitely don't want to hang, hang with your friends that keep drinking so much beer, right? All right, guys, thank you so much for your time, and I'll see you guys in the next video.